Greetings, Otaku Faithful. Thank you for joining me again this week. Once again, it's Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief, and I'm here to bring you my review of the Season 2 finale of Boardwalk Empire right here on Otaku Assemble! Weekly, as always, I'm here to bring you the latest in this week's Boardwalk Empire episode review. Now, um, I'm pretty much going to do this review in the same manner in which I did the Season 4 finale for Sons of Anarchy that I uploaded on this channel earlier this week. In which case, I will review the episode. I will give my overall, uh, my final thoughts and opinions on the season as a whole. And then I will wrap the video up with an update to let you all know what's going to be going on with this channel in the upcoming weeks. So, first and foremost, let's tackle the episode. Now, this is Season 2 episode 12 entitled to the lost and as i mentioned before this is the season two finale because it's the season two finale a lot of the storylines that had yet to be wrapped up in this season were completed so um to address the large events that occurred in this week's episode number one jimmy came through with uh, his end of the bargain in the deal that he was trying to make with chalky in i believe i believe it was two weeks ago was the episode when uh, Jimmy was attempting to end the strike and so what Chalky wanted was he wanted the three men responsible for the KKK attack Earlier at the beginning of the season and he also wanted three grand a piece to go to the families of the victims in that attack And so of course Jimmy and Richard they went ahead they got the three guys But not only did they give Chalky three grand for each family They even sweetened the deal five grand Five grand for each man lost. So, and then of course, Chalky he went ahead and he ended the strike. So, number one, Jimmy came through. He he came through his end of the bargain. He made that right. Number two, Jimmy actually reached out to Nucky and tried to rectify the mistakes that he made throughout this entire season, which uh, that led to Alderman Neary. I believe that was uh, I believe that was the Alderman. Yeah. Um, Alderman Neary, he got snuffed in this week's episode, uh, which I, which, to be honest, I thought that was actually pretty clever, um, that Jimmy and Richard were able to have him write a new confession at gunpoint, and then of course set it up to look like a suicide, and conveniently, this occurred while Nucky and Margaret was at, were at the church getting married. Now, I do want to throw this out here, because the comparison was... The reference was just too strong. Did any of you all catch the wedding scene and then the Neri suicide scene? Did you all think about the Godfather? You know, in part one when Michael was at the baptism and then the heads of the other five families got killed? Yeah. Uh, that reference was a little... That reference was a little too obvious to miss. Um, okay, let's see. Another, ma another major event... The case, the trial, uh, Nucky's trial was dismissed and it was done so because number one, Neri, who was the major, he was the major, uh, he was the major, what is the term I'm looking for? Witness. Yes, the witness testimony. His testimony was the one that was going to set the whole trial into motion. That, you know, uh, because without him, they couldn't get Eli. Uh, they got uh, the other, they got the other deputy, but that was solely on the murder charge with Mr. Sh with uh, Hans Schroeder. So, you know, he got his lick for that. But pretty much the whole, the whole case built around Neary's testimony. So once he was gone, they didn't have a case anymore. So, of course, that got dismissed. And and then, of course, the episode wrapped up with, uh, yeah, Nucky killed Jimmy. Um, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you want to hear my thoughts on that. And here's the thing. <laughs> I saw that coming. Uh, because, let's face it. Boardwalk Empire, especially the way that they've been doing these character arcs, it's very Shakespearean. And Jimmy's is that of tragedy. So, of course, it would just be befitting for Jimmy to get killed. You know? Uh, I mean, shit, let's just look in the past two episodes. Lost his wife. 
Mm -hmm. Killed his father. So, of course, his ass was next. So, um, yeah, I mean, it made, it made a lot of sense. But I will be honest with you all. And this is actually going to lead into... Uh, this is actually the perfect opportunity to lead into my overall thoughts of this season. My overall thoughts for season two... Um, season two has been a disappointment, um, and I think the reason, I think the main reason for that being is perhaps my expectations were too high, could be, but I felt as if season one concluded, when season one ended, it left the door open for so much, and it was setting up for so much that I felt like season two, season two didn't didn't fulfill it, you know, uh, as I as I mentioned before, you know, this idea that Jimmy was going to become an opposing force for Nucky and that he was going to become a boss, it, it didn't happen, you know, Jimmy was a, Jimmy was a mediocre boss at best, he was, he, he couldn't handle the leadership, he couldn't take the stress, he got boggled down by so much meticulous shit that he, he couldn't pull it off. So that was a huge disappointment in itself. What happened with Angela? That was that was a huge disappointment because once again I felt like they were building up to something interesting and they just they just dropped it because they killed her off. Um, what was going on with Richard, even though I personally didn't like it, I thought it was leading up to something. And what is it leading up to? Margaret was a complete and total fucking waste throughout the entire fucking uh, season. She didn't do anything that was one bit good or made one bit of difference. She wasn't proactive at all. She was just, you know, I, let, me t let me tell you this. Because uh, th this is a topic I've discussed in my humanities class this semester. The difference between a woman hero and a heroine. A woman hero is someone who is proactive. A woman hero woman hero is someone whose actions affect change in the world around her a heroine is a female character where shit just happens to her and she just deals with it margaret is a heroine shit just happens to her and she just deals with it but she's not proactive and her actions do not affect or change the environment around her margaret had a perfect opportunity to affect change and to be proactive. If she would have testified against Nucky, that would have changed the major course of the series. And she didn't do that. Why? Because all Nucky had to do was spit her some bullshit. <laughs> really, Nucky played this bitch like a fiddle. And I, and I don't. I, and y'all have to excuse my French, but honestly, I do not like Margaret as a character. She irrit she irritates and annoys the shit out of me. And I think she is poorly written. And it's not that she's poorly written because she just is. Margaret is poorly written because there have been multiple opportunities where they could have made her character more significant. And they didn't. They didn't. Okay? They just left her in the rut that she was in. Twice now that I can count towards the end of season one and the end of season two. Where if they would have made Margaret... An opposing force to Nucky, she would have became a much more significant character, and they didn't. Why? Because they want her to stay in that cushy-ass, get-in-the-kitchen type character that I do not like. That typecasting of female characters, I hate. I do not like that shit, okay? That's why I'm glad we got fucking Esther, um, the, uh, the assistant attorney in this fucking season, because... That was a fucking woman who actually was proactive, okay? Who actually did challenge the social norms. She did turn the whole gender roles on their head, being a woman of high authority. But Margaret? No, Margaret is the exact opposite. The exact opposite. So, Nucky was able to play her ass like a fiddle, spit all this shit, and have that one little scene with fucking Emily, and fucking Margaret just was wooed. And, I, and the whole time I'm watching this, I'm like, are women really that simple? I mean, I would like to think not, but for fuck's sake, man, this is how y'all are being portrayed in the media, okay? It's like, really? That's all it took? 
Dance, puppets, dance! Now, of course, we saw at the end where she was supposed to sign over the deed to the land back to Nucky and she decided not to. She signed it over to the church. But once again, look what Margaret's doing. She's doing her sneaky, conniving, snobbish bullshit in the dark. You know? Ooh. What does this say about her character? Everything that she's done... And do I really need to get back into this rant? Do we have to discuss this shit again because I've done it already? Do we have to go back into this? For the sake of time, I won't, I won't, but she is a horrible fucking character. She is a terrible character. And a horrible female character. She, she's a bad character, number one, but she's an especially terrible female character. And this is the female lead of this series. Uh, and then, of course, you know, the biggest disappointment was the fact that everything ended up working out for Nucky in the end. Everything worked out for him in the end. Despite all the bullshit he had to go through this season, it all worked out. So I guess everything was all fine and dandy and there were no consequences for nothing. What does that do for Nucky's character? Honestly, he experienced betrayal on multiple levels, adversity, and everything worked out for him. There really, there really wasn't, you know, there, there was never a point in time where it's like, you know what, Nuck, shit just ain't gonna work out for you this time, bruh. And you'll just have to overcome it. That, that never happened. That never happened for Nucky. And look at everything that happened to him. The, the whole thing with the tribe. The betrayal of Jimmy, the Commodore, his brother, the Aldermans, the loss of his father, the infidelity of Margaret. All of that shit in one fucking season. And what did Nucky learn from it? Absolutely nothing. What did he overcome? Nothing. Why do I say that Nucky has overcome nothing? Is because everything fell into place for it. It's not like Nucky had to go to any great odds or any great struggle or any great attempt or any great fucking, you know, uh, manpower was required to fix any of these. They just all seem to fall into place. They just conveniently happened. But he lucked out. That's what it was. He just lucked out. So, like I said, this season, a huge disappointment. A huge disappointment. Which is going to bring me to this. And uh, I know I'm going to get a bunch of... I know I'm going to get a bunch of shit for this because I've made this claim about two other series. But I'll be honest with you guys right here and now. Um, I don't know whether or not I'll, con I'll keep following Boardwalk Empire. Um, like I said, I know I've made that claim about like uh, I've threatened to drop both Game of Thrones and Sons of Anarchy in the past. But here's the thing though. Uh, of course I kept with those series because there were still multiple things about those series that I liked. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any, in, um, there's nothing left for me in this series to make me want to really keep up with it the way I have. That's not to say that I'm going to drop it entirely, but what I'm saying is I'm not going to go out of my way to catch it either. You know, like, I can see Boardwalk Empire becoming one of those shows where I'll just catch it if it's on and if I miss it, oh well. Which was pretty much my attitude in the first season. Like the first season I was like that, where I was just like a casual viewer and I wasn't a diehard fan of it the way I was this season. I think I might go back to that. Um, be, uh, more so now because why? You've killed off my favorite character. And yeah, you know, uh, you know, HBO, they did that with Game of Thrones, but that's part of the story. You know, Ned being killed off, you know, that's that's a pivotal part of the story. And I know, you know, that's going to serve a bigger purpose later on. But, but, but even with that, there were other characters that made me want to stick around. The Starks made me want to stick around, you know, Tyrion made me want to stick around, you know. There were, there, I have reasons to stick around with that series. I have no reason to stick around with Boardwalk Empire. You killed off my favorite character. I watched Boardwalk Empire for Michael Pitt. I didn't watch it for Nucky. I like Nucky, sure, but Jimmy was like the, the in the opening credits. It says Steve Buscemi, Michael Pitt, but you just killed off Michael Pitt. So what? 
what is season three going? Also, what is season three going to be about? Nucky and Margaret playing house? Hell no, I'm not watching that shit. I can't stand the hole enough as it is. And if they're about to turn her into like the second biggest character in the series, no, I'm not fucking watching it. Also, Michael Shannon, he's been written out. He fucking skipped town. Michael Shannon's in the Midwest. So is he? Is, is, is Nelson Van Alden coming back? Apparently not. That Those were two of my favorite fucking characters and you wrote them out entirely. What initiative is it for me to want to finish watching this series? Why? So y'all can introduce a whole bunch of new motherfuckers I don't give a fuck about? That I don't give a shit about? What? Y'all gonna make Owen into a main character? I don't fucking like Owen. I never did like him. Yeah, uh... I honestly think that HBO has kind of, uh... I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I really think they fucked this series up this season. Um... A lot of a lot of things that happen. This, it. I'm trying. I'm. I'm just trying to put this in 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 the nicest words possible. But the best. But but pretty much what it all boils down to is this: they set up for so much sh good shit to potentially happen, and there were no payoffs. That that's the thing. This season had absolutely no payoffs at all. Un unless you're a diehard Nucky fan in which that's the only payoff you got everyone else there were no payoffs none so yeah uh, will I drop Warwalk Empire entirely no but uh, number one I'm, uh, this this will be my last Warwalk Empire review on YouTube uh, for multiple reasons. The the biggest reasons are this. Number one, I'm losing interest in the series enough as it is. But number two, these videos haven't performed as well as I wanted them to. Uh, because even though I enjoyed making the reviews, let's face it, at the end of the day, they, they got to get views and they haven't been getting views. Not like my other videos. So, you know, I think this is among my, uh, my least, my least viewed videos. So yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to finish the boardwalk. This will be my last review for this series. Um, so, with that said, uh, for those of you who are who may have wondering, what's going to happen on OAW for the upcoming weeks? Well, just like I announced at the end of my Sons of Anarchy episode, I am going on break. I am going on hiatus for about three weeks, I want to say, until... Uh, I'm going on break for the rest of December, and I'll be back in January, um, because just got out of school, um, for Christmas break, um, so, taking a break from school, taking a break from work, because I'm not, I'm not working, uh, for December, uh, I won't, I won't be, um, I probably won't be doing any movie reviews for KillerFilm.com during December either. And then, of course, I'm taking a break from YouTube. The point is because it's Christmas break and it's supposed to be a break, it's supposed to be a vacation. And also because I need to work on my writing, which I have neglected during this semester because I've been so busy with the previously four things that I just mentioned. So I will be taking a break from YouTube. In the meantime, though, I am currently composing my schedule for the spring because uh, as of right now the only two videos that I have uh, guaranteed that I'm going to do on a weekly basis are Game of Thrones season 2 which won't be until April and the Ultimate Fighter the new season of the Ultimate Fighter which is going to be on FX I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be doing weekly review well those those videos won't be so much reviews as th those will actually be um, those will be more of a MMA commentary because if you all will remember at the beginning of the fall I tried to do NFL recap videos and those didn't work out because my schedule didn't permit but also because I was trying to find a way of how to really do them um, because while I am a big football fan I don't consider myself an expert on it so it's it was going to be kind of hard for me to really talk about it whereas MMA is a tad bit different because I do have somewhat of an expertise on martial arts, having, well, being a big UFC fan, a uh, big MMA fan, 
Um, of course, playing the video games always help because you learn about the sport. And I, I, I'm a, a former martial arts pra practitioner myself. So I kind of have more of an expertise in MMA. More so than, like, I can speak about it more confidently than I could, like, football. So, what my Ultimate Fighter videos are going to be, it's pretty much going to be my commentary of the fight that occurs in that week's episode, and then my predictions for the fight in the following week. Um, those are pretty much what those videos are going to be. So, like I said, those are the only two videos I have planned on a weekly basis. As for any other content that will be uploaded during the spring, please, in the comments below, guys, let me know what you all would like to see. Because I have a feeling that I only get, like, there There are people who only watch my Boardwalk Empire reviews and don't watch anything else on my channel. So I want to know what you all would be interested in seeing so that hopefully I can bring you all back uh, to the channel and give you all some content that hopefully you will enjoy as well as my other viewers. So let me know, you know, if it's the movie reviews, the music reviews, uh, my favorite hero, favorite villains. I know I said that I would keep those on Rogue's Gallery, but if the demand is high enough, I will, uh, I will consider bringing them back to the OAW channel. Um, the weekly, the rants, if you guys want to see those on a weekly basis again, let me know. Um, but other than that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to wrap this video up because I don't want to make this too long. Even though I was not pleased with Season 2 of Boardwalk Empire, it was still good. Um, it wasn't as, I don't think it was as good as the first season. So on that merit, uh, it was a disappointment. But compared to some other television series that I have seen, Boardwalk Empire Season 2 was still good. Um... And I want to thank you all for joining me throughout the season for these reviews. And like I mentioned before, unfortunately, this will be my last one. But hopefully you all will join me for some of my other videos. So with that said, this has been Larry Williams, OAW Command-in-Chief. I'm signing off. And until next time, peace.